This is the Roker Pendulum Clock Kit. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Let's have a look at this, how this works. So actually you're seeing this uh, large spike actually pushes that uh, bar away and that is uh, what is driving the clock. And it's quite impressive to see all the gears that this thing uses. So we have the one main uh, gear that's ticking away the top here and down the bottom you can see the pendulum swinging there. And uh, that is driving a bunch of gears here, which eventually drives the hour hand. Of course, what's a little bit odd about this clock is that the hour and the, uh, the this is the hour, and this is the minute hand. So they're not on top of each other. Would have preferred that they would have made it so that it looked like a more regular clock. But uh, I think there's enough gears in here already. Uh, so I did make one modification. I wanted to show it this video here, and uh, that is, this is originally run with a spring, so normally you wind it up here and you wind this up about uh, 18 times and uh, that will drive it for about five and a half hours. And so when I first put this thing together, you know, you do have to wind this up quite a bit and uh, uh, you, do, you may have to tilt it a little bit in order to get the ticks and tocks to be even. The instructions weren't exactly clear about what they were talking about, but uh, you need to level out the clock. So that's really the only construction hint I have. Uh, but what I did is that I wanted it to, to be electrically powered. So what I did, I got this motor. This is from a like a, fish, a vintage Fisher Price uh, microphone recorder thing. So I just pulled that out and it just happened to have a screw that uh, would fit into uh, the holes that were in here. There used to be a brace in here. So, and it just happened that there was an extra axle, longer axle, so I took the extra axle, pointed it right at the axle in the motor, uh, stuck them together with this big glob of glue, and I, I was able to use the existing screw hole to uh, mount the motor, so that's all, it's, that's all I had to do to mount it. And then I, uh, there, there's... I didn't want to feed it the full five volts because that's a little bit too much power. So it goes through this variable resistor and uh, then I just hook it up to a standard five volt USB. So uh, actually this keeps pretty good time, you know, it stays within a minute, within a 24 hour period. But uh, that is what I did to modify this so it keeps running 24 hours a day.